I'm a theatre director who became a tech YouTuber. Pretty weird, right? And this is the story of how I built something unexpectedly with the right mindset and the right tools. Hi everyone, it's Simon and welcome to South by Southwest Festival 2025. It's in London and Europe for the first time and I'm here with Notion doing a talk about creator-led businesses and how I have built out essentially an entire business, this one, in front of you guys with Notion at the heart as the engine that runs it all. So I thought it was a good opportunity to show you guys some of the ways that you can make the most of Notion as a startup, a small business, for your side hustle, or as a content creator. And with the way the world is going at the moment, with so many people being content first, and led as individuals in a global market, something like Notion could be the perfect tool to solve all your problems. So I'm gonna show you today some clips from my presentation that I've been doing at the Cafe Notion stand here. I hope you like it and it gives you some inspiration and some ideas of how Notion can be your ultimate tool for running a small business. As a creator, having a system that fits your workflow can be tricky to find. And Notion has helped me in a number of ways. It's helped me turn a pandemic side hustle into a consistent six-figure business. And yes, I am still making theatre while I do it. I'm actually a theatre director. In the pandemic, accidentally became a tech YouTuber, started a digital commerce business. And as I was doing that, trying to get myself organised and get my channel up and running and as I've continued, Notion has been at the heart of that. I'm trying to share tech ideas, strategies, tools uh, to help people make their lives a little simpler, design how they work in a little bit more of a focused way. What has been unbelievable about Notion is that it, it's kind of started simple and grown with my business and it's been able to kind of like turn up the volume of everything and it's made life easier for me. And I think someone who's got lots of different hands and different pies or lots of things running, you can create and design a system that suits how you think and how you work, which has been really cool. I didn't set out to build a business when I did this. I set out to make my life simpler and then Notion kind of helped me turn it into something. It kind of founded the business with me. So I'm a little bit of an advocate for it because you know, you just find that tool that helps you and it makes things easier. This is what happened. I think modern creator-led businesses they don't often fit into the traditional mold or the, the way of working. And I'm not a business person. So when I'm trying to work out how to build a business, I'm kind of making it up and I'm watching YouTube videos and learning from the people that know what they're doing. But what I've been able to do is design my own system. So I've built systems that hold everything so that I can focus on the creating. Uh, I found a lot of people with ADHD have written back to me going, oh my God, this system has saved my life, thank you, when I've shared it as a template, because a lot of us can't hold everything. People actually forget, yes, you're making the content, right, the product of your business or the service of what you do, but actually we forget, we also create the form in which it's delivered and the way it looks and feels, and we also create the process we use to do it. And Notion is exactly that for my business. I think creativity is pretty messy, and so, this gives me a bit of structure in a system. So what's possible? These are the Notion tools that have scaled with Better Creating, the YouTube channel and what I've been doing. But I have built out an entire content manager. There is a CMR, uh, CRM, client manager, with custom reports that I've built to manage partnerships with sponsors and brands that I work with. So, you know, if I'm promoting a product within a video, I can manage all of that. Uh, there's a consulting portal, so occasionally I will help other people with their systems or how they're improving their personal productivity. I can have a little window into, their, into this system, share that view and they can work with me. There's a, it's turned into knowledge and clippings base where all of the research and ideas I gather go into that. I've integrated it with Readwise that will take all of my Kindle clippings and podcast highlights and drop it straight into Readwise and straight into Notion automatically. And then I can link it to the content that I'm planning. And then there's custom dashboards and databases that you can design how you look at your information. So yeah, loads of options within it. Now, before we dive into some of the specific examples of what's possible here, here's a quick look at the two templates that came out of all of this, my client and content OS 
and Notion LifeOS. You can download each of these separately or as my complete LifeOS bundle to include a full task and project manager, a note-taking system, knowledge base, and all the rest to gather all of your information in one place. So whether you're an individual who would like benefit from using a second brain to hold and organize your life across goals, habits, and all the rest of it, or you run a small business or a side hustle that would benefit from a system to manage your projects and clients, make sure to get over to bettercreating.com where you can download, duplicate the template into your workspace, and then fast track to a system that can help you make your time and your work more effective. The templates come with onboarding guide videos and documentation. And if you use code LIFEOS LAUNCH, you can get 30% off. And with that, here's what I'm doing with my version of my client and content manager. So Notion is a content manager. What's great about this is it's allowing me to schedule and plan uh, so you can have calendar views, but I can also link it to other databases. So the idea of creating a relation from my content database to the clients and partners that I'm working with. I've got a list of collaborators like editors who I can link to it and know who's on what. And then they'll just get a view of the content that they're working on in their, in their view. And each one of these is like a database page template. So in a database, when you create a new page, you can also edit and create your own template for that page, which can be pre-populated like a form for you to fill out. So it can have key links in there that I want to have in there and all that kind of stuff. And then probably my favorite element of this is that input that I had into my second brain of that article that I found online or that, that um, lovely quote that I found in that book that I read on last week. I can then link those directly to see them turn up within the content page that I'm working on. So what I find I've done, where I used to use Google to search for things, now what I can do is ask Notion AI what I know about this subject and it will tell me, it will search my workspace. But I can also look in the linked tab and if I've been making the connections, I go, oh wow, there's four books, three articles and a podcast. I've already linked to this idea and I'm straight into turning that input into output. The next bit is like Notion is a CRM. So I don't, want to learn loads and loads of tools. And because I'm a small, agile business, essentially it's a one-person business that's turning now into a small team with people remotely working in different places. You know, I kind of need to be everything to start with. So Notion was a really nice place for me to build a CRM that I understood, rather than pay a fortune for some huge, brilliant client management system that actually isn't appropriate to my scale of work. And I'm really proud of this little thing. My CRM really only needs to tell me a couple of things. So I've built a little formula. This is a, you can use formulas in Notion. And it just tells me how many projects that partner has live and if they paid me or not. And that's really the thing I need to know in that view. But then if I go into the content, I can see what the history of what they've done and the contacts and all of that. So this goes a lot further and you can start simple. But what's great about this is it will also allow me to do things like create automations that relate to other programs. And one of my favorite integrations for Notion is using make.com or something like Zapier, an automation platform which you can kind of create little chains of actions that follow things through. So I've actually recently, we've gone as far as getting really complex and building a, a kind of AI version of me as an AI agent in Make that uses ChatGPT and it can find information in my workspace, go and do research, bring that stuff back into my workspace and it all talks to Notion. It's completely wild. Notion is a second brain. So Notion is also a place where I think you can build something that can genuinely act as your second brain. So it's a system you trust that can hold everything for you so you don't have to hold it and then you can do the ideas and the making and the creating or the planning or the thinking. So I personally find it great because I can put all of my tasks, my projects, my knowledge, the content plan, everything in one place and know that I've built it in a way that I trust things to come back to me at the right time and in the right place. And it's actually meant that I'm able to link everything together and it turned into a product. So the main revenue stream of this business of creating a system that helps me work as a creator on YouTube, someone said to me, you should template that. That would be really helpful. So I duplicated the entire workspace, took out all the kind of data that I'd put into it, and then tried to think, how do I turn this into an app experience for someone else? 
and it's become a fully usable empty template. This is the thing that has turned working as a creator, which can be very difficult with bits of ad revenue and bits of sponsorship. I've built my own product from it. I can share it, people use it, it brings people to Notion, that's why we're hanging out. But also it's become like a six figure income for me. So it's meant that I can employ other people to do work and help do this thing of helping other people make their lives a bit easier. As it's grown, I've been able to bring guests and then team members into the workspace. So Notion is kind of satisfying as well because it starts as your personal tool, but if you get past the first learning curve of how to kind of make it work for you and ad adjust to your, the way you want to think, it then is really easy to scale it up. And so they've got these huge enterprises using it, but for people like me as a creator-led business, I can still stay on top of it all and understand it, but I can move better creating into a team space. I started paying for a business plan and then I brought other members in and they can use the, the product with me. And so it then becomes custom individual databases and dashboard views. And what was really cool is in this view here, you'll see I've, we've started to make SOPs, yeah, standard operating procedures for how we work. And it's, it's led to us doing things like this, which is much more complex formula writing, which essentially is making the key info sexy for the people in the team. So I've kind of written formulas that this is all like me coding it up to say, make it look like this and make it look like that. And then I guess I just want to celebrate the wins a little bit because I genu genuinely would have not got anywhere with this channel. Consistency as a creator and turning up and motivation or whatever you want to call it, right? Being able to do that, that resilience to keep going is the hardest part. And I, and I think what was amazing is because I was teaching the things I was learning and building the systems I needed that I thought other people might found useful, Notion was really the kind of engine for me because it meant I didn't give up. Just keeping going is the key. And so Notion allowed me to do that. It kept me on track. It showed me the, the projects I was working on. And so, yeah, the celebratory metrics are, I can't believe that all happened by accident. I was a theater director. I mean, that's a stupid graph because it's just everything added together. But, you know, through doing this, it's allowed me to make two, over 230 videos. It's turned into 26,000 people downloading templates free and paid for, loads of partnerships and some income. That's all great, but the real stuff that I think building a system in this world has brought me is fun, freedom and flexibility in that I can build a lifestyle and, a, and a, a way of working that is mine as opposed to one that's forced upon me. I've saved hours of work by simplifying and systematizing, made a much clearer boundary where I go into this workspace for work and I go elsewhere for my, to live my life separately from it. And I think what's great is it's allowed me to grow with the community around Notion, the people using the same tools and the creators for, by you know finding these connections. So yeah, it's a, it's a pretty great thing. Well, I hope this gave you a little bit of inspiration for what's possible for using Notion in your day to day. And if you pause the video here, you can scan the QR code on my presentation and you'll be able to find the tools that I can give you to help with that. As for Notion, well, we need to keep our eye on them this year because we're expecting a couple of big announcements that include the launch of a full offline mode and something very cool that is happening with databases both of which mean Notion is going to become a much more serious consideration for a lot of new people. And to that end, if you want to learn how this can practically work for you, click my face to get subscribed. And you should watch this video next for my tour of my Notion setup to go in more depth, or this one down here for the essential strategies you'll need to make the most of any digital productivity system. So big thanks to Notion and South by Southwest for having me in London this year. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye.